to be honest, I got student of the month twice. The first one is because my instructor agreed. We made a a deal amongst ourselves, and my instructor agreed if I kept up my end of the deal that he would give me a toolbox because I didn't have the tools. And after that, I think he started making more deals, but I was the the first one. It was, and I was wanting to do more hands-on work with the vehicles. I didn't want to check it out, the the tools all the time from the 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 tool shit, the tool room. Then he got me the the toolbox that I eventually gave to my parents when I completed my my program. The the reason why I say that because that was a that was a sentimental toolbox to me. It was a uh, it was red on it. It was red on the inside. It was, it was dark on the outside. And I spent three years using that toolbox with a combination lock. And eventually I took my, well, sometimes I took my toolbox off. I, I tried to do it in the beginning. In the beginning I took my, my, my combination lock off my toolbox and let other people use my tools. However, I didn't like, I learned fast that people aren't gonna take care of your tools and replace your tools. I learned that, not just being a mechanic shop. I learned that in the classroom, in classroom training, uh, learning learning my transmission parts and operations and function of the vehicles and helping to explain others. And I had this, to make it quick, I'm going, I know I'm going off the tangent, hold on. Also, by the way, these, these are some other books that I wanna, I wanna share with you, ladies. However, it's probably gonna, I'm probably gonna use them in another. This is the second book I recommend, but this is the first book I recommend. I recommend, like I said, and take a break. I recommend this book. I'm gonna get back. That's an automotive book. I recommend this book. None of these, none of these books I have read yet. However, this book is similar to mine. That's why. I recommend this book to women or men, but I definitely, re- the reason why I say this is because a lot of men uh, read up or have some kind of experience with vehicles, because they a lot of men, you know, drive a lot, even if they don't have the, the comprehension of how a vehicle works, they have the understanding of how it should sound and things like that and what to look for or whatnot. It's just, this is another book I recommend. I'm just gonna give you what these books came to my eye. This is another uh, a book about how to stop smoking that came to my eye. Too. I'm gonna put that in my next video. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna make two videos because this is gonna be too long. It should already get ten minutes. I recommend this book. And without opening the book, I recommend this book. That's probably like the third one. This is similar to this is similar to this book right here. This is similar. This is similar. This book obviously is in the same category. It's the, the same type of book, like the same book format. So this is, and these are all these are these three is gonna I know without. And this one I don't. I looked at similar books to these two before, so I don't. I don't know. I don't know about this. I don't know about this one. I'm not sure. And this, like, these are these are the next ones because with vehicles, with vehicles goes uh, bike cycling, bike riding, bicycle riding. So I recommend these also. Without even opening the books, I just recommend them. They, I think these were the best by title in this uh, book section. I'm in the, I'm picking these up from the library. And these also, lady, I recommend these books. These are for women who. And women who don't, but women who who already do some kind of studying uh, after after grade school studying, they probably these are always good books. And Carter, this one is a good book. Obviously, he's a dictionary, and this is a good book.
I just know by this title, if you see that name right there, I mean, Grand Hill, that's a, that's a household name. That's a stand-up name right there. You can see that six edition. So they one through six and probably more. So you see somebody who did those like that, that's a good, that's a good author to follow, period. Whatever kind of book subject it is. So I just I just want to say up front, I don't know everything about all vehicles. I don't know everything about automatic transmission, even though that that was my step, my specialty in school. Uh, but I know something about it, so I'm able to speak on it. So first off, before I even open the book, what you want to look at when you're purchasing a car, you want to look at how it sounds when it when it starts up. That's going to be the alternator or the starter. You want to definitely listen to that. You want to listen to the spark plugs. You know, anything that's misfiring. You want to look at the... Well, you probably won't be able to tell about that. because It's going to be like the... Anything with that under the hood is going to be like... The timing belt is going to be the uh, ejection fuels, the, uh, the ejection sens sensors. Depending on how many cylinders you have on that, it can be like from four to eight, etc. Now they got cars going more than eight speed, I believe. I'm not sure I have to check into that. I know I know at least seven speed. I know they have like seven speeds. Um wanna look at thing things like that. I don't know too much about the newer cars, don't even I'm not even gonna go into that. I really haven't 